Alright, here's part two of how to create installation drawings. This is a, an alternate technique that I think might lend a little bit more of a modern look to the drawing rather than just changing the component line font like we did in the first part of the video. The secret to this technique is that we need to go back to the actual assembly file itself. So if you just right click in this drawing view and choose open the assembly, that will open the assembly in, an, in its own window. And what we need to do here is take advantage of configurations and display states. If you're not familiar with configurations, I have a simple video demonstration on that topic. Let's create a new configuration. And think of the configuration as just a placeholder, a way that we can configure or represent this assembly in a different way, maybe just for display purposes or for manufacturing purposes, what have you. To create a new configuration, in the Configuration tab, we'll just right-click on the assembly name, and we'll choose Add Configuration. And I will call this configuration Installation Drawing. That new configuration also has its own display state. And a display state is simply just another way of viewing the model. It might be a different combination of components hidden or turned on or off or different transparencies or different colors and so forth. It's just a different way of viewing the model. The key to this technique is that we have a, a unique display state that's reserved only for uh, showing this model in a particular way that might lend itself well to the installation drawing. What we'll do now is go back to the assembly feature manager tree and I'll click near the top of the feature manager there's a little double arrow that is called the display pane. When I click on that it reveals a matrix or a series of columns that let me change different things about the components in this assembly, whether or not they're hidden or shown, uh, what color they're applied to, what uh, transparency state, and also what line style. So I can actually change individual components from, say, the default shaded display to just a hidden line removed for individual components. So it's a very slick way that I can group and, and display components differently. Okay. Similarly to what we did in part one, we're going to select all of the documents except for the camera assembly, and then I'll just right click and choose to display those as hidden line removed. So now all the components are displayed hidden line removed except for the camera assembly. Very slick. So we're seeing the one part that we wanted to highlight in a shaded display, all the others are in HLR. And that display style is saved in this display state here in the Configuration Manager, such that if we go back to the default display, it has its own way of being displayed and our new configuration installation drawing has its own display parameters. Now that's useful because if we were to go back to our drawing file, we can now specify how we want this drawing view to be represented by right clicking in the view, choose properties, and now we can choose the configuration and display state that we want used. Let's go to installation drawing. It automatically switches to the, the display state that's linked to that configuration and that's all we have to do. We now have a view that is linked to a particular display state. And we now see the camera housing is in a shaded view and all the other components are in a hidden line removed. So that just brings some extra emphasis. In fact, just to make that uh, display a little bit more clear, you might go back and change the color of the camera housing. A number of things that you can do with configurations and display states when it comes to creating drawings. And just one of those great techniques is uh, applied to creating installation drawings. So now you have two techniques you can use. Part one of the, of the videos that showed uh, the component line font command. Part two takes advantage of configurations and display states. A couple of really good techniques there.